once more welcome to Royal Secret. Given that Zara Phillips has a close relationship with Princess Anne, Mike Tyndall and Zara Phillips might be the next candidates to join the royal family. Stay tuned to find out how Harry and Meghan react after their positions are taken from them by Mike Tyndall and Zara Phillips. But please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Mike's career is going to take off as a result of his participation in the television program, I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here, because he was viewed as a likeable individual, said Moya Riaz. People gave the sense that Tyndall was a cool, composed, and collected individual, Mike has definitely needed a lot of permission to appear on I'm a Celebrity. There is little doubt that his fame will grow from here. He might be assuming presenting duties as a guest presenter on The One Show on BBC. Commented Riaz. Some people think that after Tyndall spent time in the woods, King Charles III may give him a significant royal position. Greg Double, a celebrity specialist and the director of MHP Group, claims that Mike Tyndall hasn't fared this well in Australia since the 2003 World Cup. Although he might be off limits to corporate companies, the royal brand could greatly benefit from his popularity. Greg went on King Charles has frequently discussed a slimmed down royal enterprise, but could his hulking nephew in law be making a strong argument for a somewhat larger royal family? He is remote enough that any slip up wouldn't destroy the firm, the source continued, but close enough that he, and indeed the likable Zara, could feel at the normal one's position that was so embarrassingly abandoned by Harry and Meghan. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Contestant Mike Tyndall, who is married to Princess Anne's daughter Zara Phillips, is enhancing his royal reputation. Mike has made an impression on the show, and many viewers adore his cool and collected demeanor. It is currently thought that Mike might receive a significant royal position from King Charles III following his stint in the bush. Greg Double, a director at the MHP Group and a celebrity expert, told OK that Mike and Zara could succeed Meghan and Harry as working royals after they retired. Since the 2003 World Cup, Mike Tyndall hasn't performed as well as he did in Australia, according to Greg. Although he might be off limits to corporate companies, the royal brand could greatly benefit from his popularity. Could King Charles' hefty nephew-in-law be making a strong case for a slightly larger royal family? The king has frequently talked about a slimmed-down royal operation. He is far enough away to ensure that any blunder wouldn't harm the company, yet close enough to fill the role of the normal ones that Harry and Meghan so spectacularly neglected. He could do this alongside the likable Zara. Mike's career will soar following his time in the jungle, according to Star's celebrity manager Moya Riaz, who also speculates that he might land a position as a presenter for the one show. Mike has obviously needed a lot of clearance to appear on I'm a Celebrity, she remarked. There is little doubt that his fame will grow from here. He might be assuming presenting duties as a guest presenter on the one show on BBC. Zara Tyndall, the daughter of Princess Anne, looked completely at home modeling goods from the sportswear line Musto while decked out in the newest outdoor gear. Thanks to an accompanying interview where the princess spoke about her mother Princess Anne and received extensive attention in Britain's most popular newspapers, the most recent photo session was another successful media event for the royal and the British clothing firm. The campaign is a component of an ongoing ambassadorship for the former Olympic horseback rider Zara, which is rumored to be worth £500,000. $570,000. It is one of many high-profile business ventures that the late Queen Elizabeth II's granddaughter and her husband, Mike Tyndall, have undertaken. Mike, who represented England in rugby from 2001 to 2011, had accepted an offer from ITV's reality series I'm a Celebrity. Get Me Out of Here, which is known for subjecting its celebrity contestants to grueling trials that include such horrors as being buried alive or having buckets of bugs or offal dumped over your head. This information had been made public just a week earlier. It's a position that may bring in up to £500,000 for big stars, especially if they can provide network executives with the perfect headlines, which, in turn, result in higher ratings. I recall how specific the contracts were between contestants and production companies for shows like this, frequently outlining what revealing stories they would be able to deliver. This was back when I covered entertainment news. According to insiders, Mike has experienced a similar situation and has purportedly agreed to be open about life as a member of the royal family.
It makes sense because many viewers would tune in specifically for that.